Hello again gents, a few days ago I released this video. You had some questions, and I have your answers. So, here we go. Will the next video be Skyblock related, or was the Sky Island just to do the how I got here? Perhaps. What was the driving force to play Minecraft with this challenge put on you guys? Well, I've wanted to make a Minecraft video for ages, and a couple years ago I saw this Reddit post that had compiled a group of friends stats while playing hardcore Minecraft together. I thought it was a neat idea, so I filed it away in the deep, dark recesses of my slimy, smooth grey blob I call a brain. Then while thinking of video ideas, I was like, hmm. Yidge. What is one of your favourite moments that didn't end up making the final cut? My favourite one was probably this section in day 4. Low key, but just let me know if you need me to bring you fucking end the pearls to Sassy's party, alright? <laughs> Wait, Sid, will there be- can you, can you supply the blaze rods? Wait, we're doing some blaze powder? Is that what yeah. we're Yeah, we're doing blaze powder at Sassy's. <laughs> Seamus is just off in the so fucking so boonies. So so Seamus is just fucking peeking on magma cream right now. <laughs> this was ultimately scrapped because there wasn't a good way to fit it in without disrupting the flow of things and... I don't know, it just didn't work. There was more than the voice chat mod installed. I saw some shaders and some UI stuff. What other mods were you using? Yep, that's true. Voice chat was... Hold on a minute. Who's calling me this? Martin, you won't believe Whoa, it. What? I have got Who's a this? big problem. Who's this? this Nancy Who's this? Shut the fuck up, Mart. What? Can I call you Mart? No. Thanks. Huh? This Nancy Pelosi keeps striking my YouTube videos. Uh -huh. But you know me. I got ideas. Ideas? I'm thinking gaming videos, Mart. Gaming videos. But I need the tools, Mart. Yes, tools. I said shut the fuck up. Okay. Jesus. So what do you suggest, Mark? Um, well, I'd probably suggest today's sponsor, VidIQ, the most YouTube extension ever made. Are you a little YouTube goblin, hungry for all the data you can get your grubby little bits on? Do you like trends? Do you want your video to get 335,368,608 views? Just like the classic YouTube video, must watch new funniest comedy video 2021, amazing comedy video 2021, episode 128 by Busy Fun Limited. From Busy Fun Limited? Fuck yeah you do, VidIQ is your ticket to YouTube Valhalla. Yeah. Wow, thanks Mart, I'll be sure to check Yes it. Donald, check it out by clicking the link in the description, pin comment below, or by scanning this QR code and get 98% off on a boost subscription. That's just one dollar. Take your YouTube videos from no views to um, a lot of views today with VidIQ. Oh, he hung up. Well. <clears throat> Voice chat was definitely the main mod we used though. It really changes the dynamics of how a group interacts with each other in game. Normally when you play with your friends over discord people just sort of all sprint in every direction at once, but voice chat eliminates this because if you run away from everyone, suddenly you're alone. Aside from that, the main mods we were using were replay mod, complementary shaders, and better third person. Replay mod was responsible for 90% of the production process. This mod records everything within a Minecraft session. Later I can watch the game again, but at any angle I see fit, in slow motion or sped up, with keyframes to determine the position of the camera at any given time. For a mod, it's a pretty impressive tool, and if you're into making Minecraft videos, give it a go. Complementary shaders are great, so use them if your PC is powerful enough. I tried a lot of shaders before starting this video, and concluded that complementary shaders look the best in 99% of situations. I also changed the settings on them pretty substantially to brighten things up, and several other small tweaks to make things look as nice as possible. Oh my god, again. Yes, who is this? So Mart, this keyword search thingy, it's like some sort of data whiz, right? Oh my god, yes, Donald! The keyword research tool is data-driven, and it'll help you make your videos more visible. Now please, do not call me again. Wait, no! Jesus, man. This guy. Anyway. So a lot of you had various questions regarding the editing of this video, so I'll answer them all at once. Starting off with hiring some people. Back in January this year, I set out with one goal. Help. I had great ambition for my channel, but not enough time to realise it. The plan? A team. What team, you ask? A team of meat-headed, smooth brain monkeys to throw at tasks I find too mind-numbing to do myself. I acquired these two monkeys from a suspicious wildlife trafficking organisation known as... Indeed.com purchased them tools to do said activities, and dumped 20 hours of footage on them with a ridiculous deadline, unrealistic expectations, and terrible consequences for not doing what I want. I actually had most of the footage recorded along with the first seven and a half-ish minutes edited before I brought on the additional monkey. Uh, editors. Which in itself was a lengthy and involved hiring process that took great value in the quality of their sent-in meme. Production of this video began after I played the game and recorded what happened. Whatever happens during the recording session determines how the story plays out. A lot of people seem to think I scripted the deaths, but I did not. All the fuckery performed on the screen really did happen, uh, and really did make us rather it. angry. Oh, there's a TNT up there. No, I don't know, actually. Press the button. Don't yeah. press the button, guys. Oh my god, run, 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 run! <laughs> That's Why would you do that, Steven? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> God. I then watch back all the footage in chronological order and mark any particular moments of interest. 
Mm. Holy shit, this fucking guy. Yes. Hey, Mart, this competitor analysis thing, it lets me... Yes, Donald, I know, I use it too. Competitor analysis lets you analyze your competitor stats so you know what they're doing or not doing differently. Now, please, Donald, stop calling Wait, me. Wait, don't hang up. All right, let me just block that number. <clears throat> anyway. During the script writing, I'll watch back through these segments a few times to make sure I know what's going on and what to write. Once the script for a section is done, I do the voiceover and we get started on the rough cut. For this video, the rough cut involved not only collecting clips from my POV footage, but also going into the replay mod and filming replay shots. This is where the monkeys made themselves immensely useful. After the rough cut, the fine cut. Getting what was done in the rough cut, adding the frogs, animations, text, and refining the timing on clips, and then making sure the music fits just right. When it comes to music, I'm a very particular frog. Choosing music can be very tedious, or I can find the right song on the first try. Sometimes I write parts of the script while listening to a certain song, others I have no idea what music will be used and just pick something that sounds good. In terms of my hand in the video editing this time, my hand was firmly and deeply into this video. All the final decisions, script writing, music choice, and little changes here and there to better match the style were me. Along with, uh, feeding the monkeys. Okay, Mark, don't be mad. Dude, I blocked your number, but you're still getting through. You Just said they were offering a 98% off deal, right? Yes, Donald, the VLIQ Boost subscription package is only $1 if you use my link in the description. Now just fuck off. Uh, no. Will you ever put a compressor on your audio so the meme clips are loud and distorted, but not ear shatteringly loud? Minecraft remains a popular topic, that much is clear. How much influence did the game's popularity play into your decision into making a video? Do you think the new people interested in this video will stick around? To be honest, I just like Minecraft. It being popular is a great bonus, but regardless of its popularity, I was still gonna make a video on it sooner or later. In terms of new people, yeah, I hope so. I think this video is actually pretty unique, which is weird to say about a game that has well and truly been done to death, and hopefully new people will appreciate that and wanna stick around. Was there a restart that made you question if this challenge was even going to work? The, uh, button incident. That was... That was rough. I feel like this type of video heavily relies on friends messing up to get content. At any point, were some of the runs partially scripted, planned or exaggerated in order to fully flesh out the content, or did everything just happen to fall into place? The video relies on friends messing up because that's what happened. If something else had happened, I would have just used that instead. I didn't tell anyone to behave the way they did, they just... Race the bottom! Ah. Did that. What are the legal reasons behind Steven's in-game name? Is it for his own safety? Is it to maintain the legitimacy of his own court case to avoid bias? What's going on there? Steven's participation in <laughs> coupled with his misappropriation of <laughs> to organize crime has resulted in his placement within the <laughs> To mitigate the imminent risks of reprisal, he now resides under a protected identity subject to <laughs> and legal <laughs> Oh my god. Are you serious? What, man? What? Martin, the advice you gave was a little too good. And now I'm in a pickle. Why are you still calling me? Just turn on the news. What did you do? Chaos and lawlessness. Dude, striking what did you do? I fucked up real bad. My videos got too viral. Dude, this is not my problem. Find someone else to blame. I'm disposing of my phone. Just oh, no, goodbye. No, wait, wait. I'll just blame it on the Chinese, I guess. All right. Quick fire round. How does this video fit into the MCU? Right here. What color are your pants? Brown. Why so many people? Wouldn't two, three guys be more stable? Yeah, it would. How many hours of raw footage do you have in total? 20.153 hours. Can we call you a Minecraft YouTuber now? Uh, no. What made you abandon me as an eight-year-old child in 2003? No. What kind of beans does Tristan consume to achieve this amount of trolling potential? Canned. How did it feel becoming a cube? Like this. <laughs> Favorite STD, chlamydia. Is cereal a soup? Okay. I thought something matter. How annoyed were you honestly at your friends trolling, or did you big not care and figured solid content? Very fucking annoyed. You have the balls to cliffhang two series at once. Will you hang more? Okay guys, that's all I've got time for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out our sponsors.